I thought the truck was going to take me. I would have asked for so much money that I had to put me on layaway. On layaway, uh-huh. Chris been clean with no caffeine. We on a scene with the Diamond Turf One. This is a Deion Sanders signature shoe from 1993. For you youngins out there who don't know who Deion Sanders is, primetime Deion Sanders is one of the best athletes to ever live. He is a double sport athlete, at least. The only guy to play in the Super Bowl and in the World Series. And he played in the MLB game and an NFL game in the same day. Yeah, they got a documentary on it on ESPN. Go check it out. I think they had five versions of them. I think so, or six. I think it's five. The first two were sought after. Third one's kind of okay. The fourth and fifth one are kind of, eh. But the first two are, are really great. Not just because I had this shoe in my hand, but Deion Sanders, prime time. Neon Deion is probably my favorite football player of all time. I, I love him. Just the swag he had. He was good on offense and defense. Played baseball and football. Hitting home runs, scoring touchdowns, interceptions. That dude had it. First signature shoe of Deion Sanders. I think I do prefer the white shoe over this one, but this one is still gorgeous. Turf Shoes was huge in the 90s. He played for the Atlanta Falcons and then later the Dallas Cowboys. There was other teams, 49ers, things like that. But the Cowboys and the Falcons, who he played the most for, had turf. So he had turf shoes and these evidently worked great for him. I think these would look sick in the Cowboys colorway. That, that old, not the navy as they do now, but more of that old school blue and silver and white. That would look sick on this shoe. I'm not too big of a fan of Velcro, but they were huge in the 90s. Like there were so many shoes that can, almost all of the Deons, at least the earlier ones, come with the Velcro, the King Griffey's did and so on and so forth. I think some Michael Vicks had some Velcro on it. Got a good file on midsole there. Leather uppers, trimmed a new buck. Make it look like flames, I think. That's kind of nice. I just noticed that the logo is actually a baseball field. <laughs> Come on, how you know that? How you know that? I know. Hm. Makes me like these even more. I've had to know that before. I I've had to see that before. I just forgot. They haven't worn these in a very long time. They were actually really dusty and really dirty. It was filthy looking, actually. Two strings off, I cleaned the inside up, got this all looking good. And fresh. Uppers are super easy to clean, it's new buck and leather. And boom, it looks good. 10 years old, 10 years old right there. Mm. Velcro straps are plastic, so if you have any hard dirt or grime on it, you can just get an eraser and it'll come right off. By far my favorite part about this shoe is the tongue. The tongue is pretty stretchy, as you can see. It can go in, go out, do whatever, and it's straight rubber. It is all 100% rubber right there. My favorite part is the tongue, but my least favorite part is how long these shoestrings are and how high they go up. I mean, there's four holes right there. And if you was to lace that up, I mean, you cover everything up. You won't be able to see any tongue. It's a straight shoestring and they are super long and you can put them in there, something like that. That might be how he wore them. I have to go out and double check and see. I'd like a good, just clean look to it. So I tie them, tuck them underneath the tongue and there you go. I 
I really wish they would release them again. There hadn't been a Deion shoe in several years. There have been some King Griffey's recently, but not a Deion Sanders or Diamond Turf. Maybe a little better materials, things like that. It's not a great shoe to wear to like go out in or you know do anything like that. It's a great shoe if you're working out, running, and you wanna have a little style. It's just, uh, man, boom, that's good. Or if you're a football player and you play on turf, have these or your whole team have these, which that'd be crazy expensive, but that'd, look, that'd be pretty damn cool. Classic Nike Air on the booty. Man, I love that. That's a great ass right there. This released in 93, 2000, yeah, 30 years ago. What? How old am I? <laughs> I love this shoe.